is happening everybody welcome back to quick eats with chanel and reliable all right you saw the thumbnail today we're making some loaded fries okay ain't nothing to it let's get started all right so let me introduce the ingredients so we got some chicken tenders here that's already been cleaned and trimmed all right so this is the seasons we're going to use some black pepper all right some uh, smoked paprika garlic powder and salt all right, and uh, we got some uh, for our, this is for our wet batter. This is some all-purpose flour, some salt. All right, we're gonna use some hot sauce. We got one egg and got some buttermilk. All right, this is for our dry batter right here. Uh, more all-purpose all flour, some cornstarch, salt, smoked paprika, some chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and some cayenne pepper. All right, so yeah, so we're gonna use, we got not only we got a chicken tennis, we're gonna use that apple with smoked bacon. All right, so we're gonna use that. So first thing is go ahead, let's get these uh, fries and the bacon in the oven. All right, so uh, we gonna, we already got our fries in the oven and all with our bacon. So now it starts to season our chicken tenders. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this around a little bit. So, just gonna uh, go ahead and pour in our seasoning like that. All right, use my hand. Okay, try to get every tender, every, about seven tenders. So, try to get it all in like that. That's good right there. So I'm just gonna set this aside for a second. And we'll get started on our wet. All right, so we already got our salt in there along with our flour. So just wanna mix that up. Mix that up real good. All right, first, I'm going to add the buttermilk. Okay. Add our egg and our hot sauce. All right, so we got our wet batter done. Uh, try to mix it up real good, that way we can get rid of the lumps. But uh, that right there is nice and thick the way we want it. So now as far as dry, let's try to mix this up. All right, so I'm done mixing our dry batter. Uh, you can see at the bottom, you know, try to get that good look. Try to make sure it's all mixed up really good. Okay, so let's get on to our chicken. All right. So it's going to be, you know, wet, dry, and I'm just going to go right straight to the pan. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. Shouldn't take that long. Okay. All right. So our first one. It's a real thick coating, but that's, uh, that's how we want it. Make sure we get a good coating on your chicken. All right, so here's the first one. All right, and we're doing all the rest the same. All right, so I finished up, uh, you know, flouring our other tenders, our other three tenders right there. All right, here goes ours right here cooking. Uh, it's about five or six minutes on each side, and then you flip them. Uh, look how crispy that is. All right. Now you can cook more at a time, but I prefer, you know, do about four at a time. That works for me. Uh, yeah. Now right, tell me that ain't crispy. That's crispy. So about another five minutes and we'll go with another batch. All right, so it's been another five minutes. Yeah, see what we're done right here. 
So I'm gonna go cut these drain. All right, it's gonna be nice, nice and juicy, crispy. All right, yeah, this is gonna work. Yeah, just imagine these on some loaded fries. It's gonna taste real good. Okay. So let's go with our other tenders. So that'll be another about five minutes on each side. All right, guys, I uh, tried to cook in these in the, um, in the oven, but it was just taking too long. So I went on and I got done with the chicken. I just go ahead and dumped the fries in there. Um, so I apologize, I forgot to tell y'all what fries I'm using. I'm using that, I'm using that crinkle cut from French fried potatoes. All right, so this is the kind I'm using. So when we get done with these fries, all right, when we get done with these fries, they're pretty much done now. And we'll get started plating. All right, so we're done with our fries and everything. Add a little bit of salt. Okay, add a little bit of salt right there. Okay. So let's start with our presentation. Mm, got these real crispy fries. Uh, this is gonna be real good, y'all. All right, so we got our fries. Next, we're gonna go with, go with some cheese sauce here. Okay. How we got? All right. So we're going our cheese sauce. Next. Go with our, let's go with our chicken. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this up. You can already see how crispy it is. Oh yeah, real crispy. Oh yeah, it's gonna be really good. Let's get another piece, another piece of chicken. some bacon. I'm just gonna break this up with my hand. Right. You're a bacon lover out there like me, you know, you always want that extra bacon. And this bacon is cooked to perfection. Oh yeah. Don't you hate it when you go to those restaurants and you know, they be all Cheap with uh, putting the extra bacon on top. I said I want extra bacon. I want extra bacon. They don't give me extra bacon. They charge me for it, but they don't give me extra bacon, though. All right, one more. Or one more, that should be good. Okay. So next, let's get some ranch in there. Topping. All right, got some green onion. I'm just gonna put it on top. Oh yeah, take a look at that. All right, there goes some loaded fries for you. Loaded fries. Oh yeah, look good, don't it? All right, y'all. So let's get that taste test. You know. Really don't know where to start. So I got this, let me see if I can get a fry. Ooh, can I get some bacon in there too? Bacon might be too, yeah, I got it. Let me go and take that one fry off. Okay.
Oh yeah, that's real good. The bite star all the way from the bottom. You know, you get those crispy fries, that cheese sauce, and you come with that chicken, that bacon, ranch, and top it off with them green, them green onions. It's amazing. We load the fries. This is amazing. All right. So what y'all gonna tell me what y'all think about this recipe? All right. So got the loaded fries, very easy to make. You know what I mean? All right, so thanks for watching. You already know, I'm out of here.